Let's talk about earnings a bit because, again, if I go back to my conversation with you, when everybody was even back then saying we've seen the worst of earnings, you were actually saying, no, we haven't. Uh, I, I don't think even today anyone can stick their neck out and say we've seen the worst. How much more worse, according to you, could earnings get if this is where the growth stands? No, I would say earnings growth uh, will have to be revised downwards. Uh, I've always been of the opinion that uh, if you're growing below potential GDP growth rate, then it's very difficult to see earnings growth being more than top-line growth mm. because the operating leverage tends to act against you. Now, given that growth is significantly below the potential, and potential, I would say, is somewhere around 7 7.5% in real terms, uh, it is quite likely that earnings uh, you know, numbers could be far lower than what has been earlier anticipated. I would be quite surprised if we even grow this year in terms of earnings. And uh, next year, in my opinion, also will be you know, pretty you know, tepid growth. So the next, uh, this year and next year, in my uh, view, will not be an earnings-led you know, story for India. It has to be a story which will be an improvement in our macroeconomic fundamentals. And that is what's going to be you know, the key that investors will be watching worldwide to bring money back to India. Hmm. But still, at 15 times, therefore, we've seen last year was a flat growth. This year, again, if it's going to be a flat growth, are we an expensive market, therefore? I would say that uh, if you look at historically, Indian market has traded between 10 to, you know, to uh, 15 times uh, forward earnings. And uh, normally, only when there's a global crisis do the market really test the 10 times forward earnings number. Uh, otherwise, it gets support somewhere in the 11 to 12 you know, X band. Uh, my sense is that if you were to you know, assume zero growth rate, for example, this year and say about 10 percent next year, the market would be trading somewhere between 12 and 13 times. So it's not that there is a big downside purely on valuations, but sentiment. But there is you know, a downside. There is there is a, a definitely you know some downside. So for the next year or so, you're saying we could either muddle around at the levels we are at, or we could certainly be lower. That's right. Hello and welcome to Market News.